Oke okay, sobat baca, kita di sini Indonesia Fans 2025 berada di Good Flight Win dan bersama kita ada we here with Vice President of Flight Win, Mr. Uh, Chong Chen. Yep. Uh, thank you, pleasure to have you in our program Diplomatic Club, Mr. Chen. Okay. And okay. we here uh, very fascinated with your product here yep. behind okay. us. Yes. Oh, my helicopter, but it's without a uh, pilot yes so the first question yeah uh, mr chen could you tell us about uh this helicopter you say this is your flagship product in this indo defense yes this year yes could you elaborate uh your flagship product please uh, okay okay uh should i like this yes. okay so this is our flagship product okay it's a new one in new one. Yes, now it's ready for sales. Uh, now it's the largest unmanned helicopter in the world. Largest yeah. unmanned helicopter yes. in the world. This is our advantages mm -hmm. right now. Well, you, you cannot see the else. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, you say the largest unmanned helicopter yep. in the world yep. currently. Yes. So could you briefly describe uh, okay. about this product? How? This product operates and what makes it stand out okay. Uh, technically? Okay, you see, uh, the max payload is one ton. One ton? Yes, the, the maximum endurance time is five hours. Five hours? Yes, and also the service ceiling, I mean, the attitude to be reached 6,500 meters. 6,500? Yes. It's about. Uh, <laughs> Almost like. Uh, uh, 60 to the, feet? Yes, to the Everest to mountain, the, <laughs> you know. To the highest mountain, yes. Sampai gunung tertinggi di China. Yeah. The highest mountain in China. Yes. The highest mountain in the world. <laughs> the highest mountain in the world. Even yes. The highest mountain in the world. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. And uh, uh, about your present in here, Indonesia. Yes. We can. Uh, we can accept it uh, aside from uh, what Indonesian armed force needs. Yes. So, uh, given Indonesian strategic defense need currently, yes. uh, TNI, yes. what makes uh, the national armed force, TNI, okay. consider procuring your yeah. flagship product? Here? Okay. So, what, what is, I think they can do, they can use the for cargo delivery. For instance, they can just uh, use the for the logistic supply. It can carry weapons, and also it can carry some special equipment, such as the radar. You can search the targets. Sometimes it it's heavy, and also it consume a lot of power. So it can just uh, satisfy for this kind of payload. Yeah. And uh, another one in the emergency situation, it can carry six uh, wounded people. In emergency situation, yep. it can also carry, carry people. people. Yes, not for the just thing. Not yeah, just for the wounded people. people. For instance, if there's it's a remote area, yes. you need to transfer the, the wounded people from the left side to the capital uh, to the hospital. You can use this one. Is it already tested? Is it safe? Uh, carrying people. Yeah, we just uh, test in China. Mm -hmm. You can see there's uh, the medical cabin there. It can supply the oxygen. And also some monitoring system in monitoring the, the situation of the of the people. Okay, I have a follow-up question. Yep. Uh, about the about how how we see Indonesian TNI uh, needs. Yes. Uh, TNIs have a big concern about uh, disaster aid mission. Okay. So uh, can this helicopter support? The disaster aid mission of the TNI. Uh, you mean the disaster? Disaster, disaster aid. Uh, we see Indonesia have a four tunnel, uh, have a four tunnel mountain, and a lot of uh, disaster happen every day. You mean such as the uh, typhoon, typhoon, uh, even earthquake, earthquake. even earthquake. Yes, of course. We we, I think TNI needs. Uh, yeah. Yes. Some kind of, fast respond with their equipment. Yes, it's very, uh, I mean, most useful for the emergency rescue, such as it can carry the, I mean, the, the cargo, if there's earthquake, 
or typhoon something, you need people. I mean, to carry the, I mean, even the equipment, the food, the medicine to the site. Right. You can use this one because it can carry one tons. One ton. Yes. It's not just a military. Yes. Payload. Yes. It can also uh, can also food for. Air. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the emergency. Yes. yes, and also you know it's helicopter. We don't need an airport. Yeah, you can just uh, take off well, and take landing off. just uh, anywhere. And also you don't need to land. You just uh, it can hoisting, and uh, to drop it, and also it can winch it. It can just uh, uh, sling down the I mean the goods by the rope. You say this is a more convenient. Yes. With the helicopter platform, yes. Instead of a fixed wing platform, yes. Because fixed wing, you need the airport. Yeah. And this one, it's less good for rescue. Okay. You know, it's but easier. This helicopter is not the only one-time product helicopter in the world for unmanned helicopters. So, uh, yes. So, but, uh, for the competitive global defense market, yeah. Uh, how does your product compare with your uh, similar? other uh, product from other uh, company. Okay, let me, what I said, uh, it is the largest one in the world. So the payload weight is one ton. Now it's the most heavy lift one in the world. And also the endurance time could be five hours. That means for the single way, it could be reached to uh, 600 kilometers. Six? At, yeah, at most. So that's why compared with other companies, if, I mean, the functions is, is very strong and uh, this is our most advantages for that. I see. So I can see, uh, I can say that uh, your company is highlighted the highest payload that this yeah, company Especially for the heavy lift one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Chen, okay. for your time. Uh, hopefully that uh, this... Uh, this exhibition for okay. you are going so well. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay. Sampai ketemu sobat baca. Kita sudah berbincang dengan Mr. Chen dengan helikopter yang cukup besar. Nantikan terus alusista berikutnya dari mancanegara. Sampai ketemu lagi.